start out by saying this housing crisis has been caused by the majority party. They have known for years that we were undersupplying the housing need, but the majority party has insisted on four key elements that have exaggerated the problem. They are, one, the support of a no growth policy for most cities. Cities rarely expand their city limits through an annexations or expand their UGBs as needed for an adequate land supply. Two, this body and the majority party has increased the cost of labor, which has skyrocketed and increased the cost of a home by, uh, by a big percentage. Three, the cost of materials have also skyrocketed. Timber is the major expense of housing and is by far the greenest alternative, and yet the majority party has done everything possible to shut down mills by eliminating supply of logs or escalating the cost of production. Fourth, the majority party in cities has insisted on huge system development fees. These fees can run up to $40,000 a unit or more. The sum of all this is huge cost of construction. Quite simply, it doesn't pencil. So who comes up with the solution? The very people that created the mess, the majority party. Obviously, they never took basic economics. When you move the supply curve to the left, also known as a cost shift, what happens? Price goes up. To quote Homer Simpson, duh. So what is the solution? Rent control. Ask yourself this simple question. Will this make more or less people want to invest in housing? The answer is less. Again, Homer Simpson says, duh. This will cost a further supply shift to the left. So what is the solution? Look at the four problems that created the housing mess in the first place and reverse course. Two, increase spending on infrastructure, water, sewer, and roads. Three, increase discretionary incomes for the working poor and the millennials um, by not taking, uh, by not taxing the working poor below the threshold the feds do. Oregon taxes the poor sooner, and this is unnecessary. Give the money back to the working poor. For the millennials, give a tax credit. For student debt, this debt is eating up the millennials a 